so if you get this point on your machine that is saying your country does not support this purchase okay don't worry all you need to do is to hello awesome people welcome back to my channel my name is solomon and thank you very much for clicking in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to get the new or the latest adobe photoshop app on your machine okay so you can see that i have adobe photoshop 2024 over here okay so you can see it up here so let me show you how you can get this and you have access to the new feature like the generated fill and also the new remove to which does magic in adobe photoshop okay so without further ado let me show you guys how you can go about it and also if you're in countries like ghana nigeria and other countries you will not have access to the app okay so let me show you how you can bypass all of these and get it on your machine so first of all i would like you to search countries that support adobe creative cloud and then you click on that click on this one to see the countries available and when you go through this you are going to see the countries in that okay and i'm not sure you are going to find your country in it if you are searching for this type okay so you can see ghana uh, creative cloud for individual is not available creative cloud for students and teachers is not available and also creative cloud for teams is not available but i think what is available for ghanaians are creative cloud for teams and entrepreneurship let me search for nigeria and see what also what they have creative cloud for individual is available for nigerians and also nigerians have an options okay so let's check how we can get this one on our machine so first of all i recommend you to download the creative cloud app on your machine so download creative cloud then you click on this one to download the app so you click on download this one so when you click on it a pop-up is going to come on your screen and then you click on it to download the app all right so you can see that it is downloading over here so when it's done you click on open the folder where it was downloaded to and you are going to see creative cloud setup you click on it you double click on it and then you run it so for me i have already downloaded the creative cloud app and also installed it on my machine so i'm going to click on the creative cloud app for it to open for me so once it opens it's going to tell you install creative cloud okay enter your system password when prompted click on continue then i'll click on yes so from here it's going to download all the creative cloud app okay and it said the installer cannot download the creative cloud because it aren't reachable so i already have it on my machine so i don't need to download it again so let me create installation create so once it finished installing you are going to have this setup that's creative cloud desktop so it is loading the home screen and this is what you have at the end of the day okay so if you want to install the latest version of photoshop all you need to do is to come here and you click on apps then from here you click on try you can see my is up to date and also you can also try other software like the illustrator and stuff so let me click on try this for you to see so i just want to try it for the meantime so i'll click on this one so i'll click on the try and wait for it to load so you can see that it is loading so if you get this point on your machine that is saying your country does not support this purchase okay don't worry all you need to do is to open your browser so let's say this is my browser then i'll search for touch vpn so use a vpn and i'll use this one called the touch vpn it absolutely for free you just click on it okay it's a cron extension that you are going to install so when you open it you are going to see a uh, add to cron so you can see my is removed from cron it is already added okay so when it activates then you come here you click on this one and you are going to see this one here so you click on it and then you are going to have 
this one so let me stop for you to see so this is it it is going to look like this and then you select you click on this one the drop down over here to select one of the locations so let me select maybe netherlands or let's select uk and you click on connect so you, you are going to see that it's going to connect and this is a free vpn okay so you are going to use it for free then when you want to stop it you stop it then from here once you have this one let's open a new browser and click on adobe creative cloud let's try it once more so adobe creative cloud so let's click on it then let's open that so once you activate your creative cloud you can come back over here and then you click on the try again for you to see whether the vpn affects over here it's supposed to be effective over here all right so from here we are going to choose a plan you see try the full version of adobe apps with seven days we don't want the full version because the full version costs so much so we are going to choose the photography one that one too we are going to choose one terabyte so that the price is going to be reduced you see that if you choose the one terabyte the price increases but if you choose 20 gig of storage the price reduces to 8.8 .8 dollars per month okay then you click on continue and also you click on make sure you check the add seven days free trial and you click on continue so without using the vpn you are not going to have access to this one so let's say let's use the email that we are going to use it over here so let's say this is the email that we want to use and then you click on continue so guys all that you need to do is that this thing is complicated so you need to be aware of what you are trying to do okay so click on continue to log in into your so from here you need to enter your password and then you click on continue then you choose your payment method uh, which method are you going to use for the payment let's say for me i will choose paypal and i'm going to enter these details so you can enter your phone number and also your mobile number over here okay so let's see click on continue the vat is optional and it's, you can see that it is automatically logging into my paper account then i'm going to log into my paper account so that it is going to have access to my account so that when it when the time deals is going to deduct the amount from my account okay so please add a debit or a credit to your to complete your purchase so let's click on add so i have a visa card over here that i'm going to use so from here you just have to add your account details and then you can continue from here okay